June, the Gingerbread House. Lucky girl awoke, she was in a rose garden. The place was strange but familiar. Looking around, the girl noticed that her faithful companion was missing. The lonely, unlucky girl became very sad. Hey everybody, Phantom Shadow here, and welcome back to more Rill of Rose. Let's continue. It's shut and you can't go any further. Alright then. Red House. I guess I don't need the fish head anymore. Or those. Okay, re-equipping this. Any mail? You can barely read the faded name on the old mailbox. Gregory M. Wilson. Biscuit shed. Any biscuits in here? The thick smell of dust and mold fills the shed. Okay. Huh. House map. Ground floor. Underground. And I guess that's all. Camera. Okay. I hear somebody talking. Garden. The swing is broken. Only one of, one of the rotting ropes is still intact. Shovel. 
I'm guessing that's a weapon. The ground has been dug up in several places. Or maybe I need it. No, I guess it would be counted as use if I had to use it. That makes sense, right? Guess I'll try the back door. Or not. On Monday he finds a pig. On Tuesday he bags the pig. On Wednesday he shows the pig to his son. On Thursday the pig kicks and screams. Come Friday he grinds up the pig. Come Saturday. Hmm. There is a large hole in the wall, as if something heavy has been slammed into it. Okay, I guess we'll try the front door. The color is faded, so it's difficult to tell whether it's a drawing or a photo. There's still all kinds of junk here. Broken toys, newspapers, photos, torn up drawings, etc. Can't break down the boards. Coat with mud on it has hung in the closet along with a hat. Soldier's Barracks. There's a large box. Huh. I was unexpecting to be able to go out the window. <laughs> Climbing through the window, the girl found herself in a room full of flo floating toys. The toys wait patiently for their master, even as they decay. Creepy old figure is staring up at the sky. There are toy airships and planes. Pilots. Whoever's room this was must have loved all the things that can fly. Newspaper on the floor. June 21st, 1929. Another unexplained disappearance. There was another mysterious disappearance of a child recently. Following missing children reports on the 7th and 14th, police are now investigating this case as both possible kidnapping and missing person. Local residents are advised not to allow children outside unsupervised and to take caution around any suspicious individuals. Guess there is nothing else in here.
kitchen. Huh. The cabinet glass door is too dirty to see through. Various leftovers are scattered on top of the table. Sour smell is coming from the old rusty refrigerator. The dishes are unwashed and stacked up with a foul smell. The oven is so rusty it can't even be opened. June 1929. There are strange symbols on certain days of the calendar. Good night, young pig. Stray dog walks the streets each day. Collecting peas as he walks to Basement. Big peas, small peas. Every which kind of pea. Come Monday, he finds a pea. Come Tuesday, he bags the pea. Come Wednesday, he... <laughs> ah, welcome home. It's almost bedtime for you. Good night, Joshua. <laughs> Newspaper clipping is pinned up. June 23rd, 1929. Luxury airship mission missing. England's largest luxury airship, which just set sail on its virgin flight, a flight celebrated across the country with great fanfare, was reported today to have gone off course and is currently missing. It is speculated that the vessel diverted from its course to avoid low pressure system approaching from the south, but its whereabouts are still unknown. Due to the heavy thunder and rain that have blanketed the area since yesterday, the search for the airship has faced many difficulties. Hmm. I knew that had to do something. Teddy bear. Adorable teddy bear with a green ribbon is tied around its neck. Right then, the trapped unlucky girl heard a gentle voice. I came just as I promised. Stay right there and I'll help you out. Okay. A boy's shirt, pants, and shoes have been neatly laid out on the bed. For some reason, Jennifer felt a sudden pain in her chest. A bundle of letters were hidden under the sheets. November 10th. To Mr. Joshua, the bear in distress. My name is Wendy. Oh... I always watch you from the sky, Mr. Joshua. Why are you trapped down there? November 27th, from W to J. My prince is in need of rescue. It was a pleasure to meet you, my dear prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes, I only wish there was a world just for you and I. The prince, is, the prince and the princess. Don't worry, I'll set you free. January 9th, from W to J. Oh, my poor kind prince, you were worried because that man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry, I know where he hides that aw awful thing of his. 
so let's run away together. You can leave it all to me. Everything will be alright. January 20th. Please don't worry, I'll do anything for you. Just pledge your love for me, that's all I ask. January 27th. Thank you, my eternal prince. Tomorrow night I shall unlock your shackles and we'll live together forever. Everlasting true love, I am yours. Oh. Jennifer, I unlocked the door. I'll keep a lookout, so come right away. I didn't mean to face towards the crib. So, do we have to look out for the guy with the gun? Let's run away before the man comes back. Before we go, we should find that dangerous thing and take it with us. It's for his own good. Living room. Beautiful painting of a flower vase is decorating the wall. Study. I'm fine now. Let us go, shall we? Backyard looked like it was raised rather than plowed. Greg's Diary uh, Sunday, June 1st. Clear skies. Today I weeded the fields. Work went well. Monday, June 2nd. Today I weeded the fields. Work went well. Weeding again tomorrow. Thinking of taking my son Joshua with me out to the fields. Today I weeded the fields, it went well. Weeded the fields again, Joshua isn't feeling well, so I worked in the fields all alone as always. Weeding again, tomorrow morning I'll go to town and sell peas, so tonight I must make prepara preparations. It is a busy day indeed. I went to the market and sold peas and carrots and hoped to be able to feed Joshua something nutritious, but sales were not good. I was not able to buy much. Uh, Joshua has been misbehaving. He went and ate sweets out of the cupboard without permission. Weeding the fields today, it was chilly. I gave Joshua a blanket so he won't get catch a cold. He's under the weather and has a slight fever, so I fed him some soup. Went to work today. Uh, work went well. Planted peas in the ground. Uh, spent the day in my room drawing a picture book for Joshua. I'm sure he'll enjoy this one. Today I cleaned out the barn. Joshua told me he liked my latest story. Nothing pleases me more to see my son happy. Barn cleaning again. I've been neglecting the field, so they're in a bit of a mess. I must drive the insects and mice away. Did weeding today, the 
Weather was beautiful, a great day to work in the fields. More weeding. I wanted to take Joshua out with me to the fields, but his costs were getting worse. Um, I thought of a good idea for a story. I'm going to take the day off from the fields and concentrate on refining it. Joshua told me he liked my latest story, but there's nothing I love more than seeing him happy. Uh... Okay. I guess we just leave. Joshua, Joshua. Feel like I should save. I'm so glad. Now we can be. Now we can always be together. Say, I have a favor I want to ask. Will you trade your teddy bear with my brooch? I'm so happy. We should give him a name. How about Joshua? That's a wonderful name. I'll cherish him as much as I cherish you. So let's renew our pact. Everlasting true love, I am yours. You should go back and hang around with Amanda where you belong. October 1930 Rag Princess Sues This is an emergency Joshua, the teddy bear is missing Search teams are on the lookout the person who finds him will receive a red crayon and will be invited to join the club. Brown. Okay. 
All right. Um, kind of a short episode today, but uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time with more Rule of Rose. Bye.